Nier Automata has one of my favorite gaming moments of all time. Now honestly, so far it's probably my game of the year for 2017, but there's one moment that has really stuck with me since I've actually beaten it, and I think it's going to stick with me for a very long time. So that is ending E. Uh, so obviously, because it's an, an ending, uh, there's going to be a hell of a lot of spoilers for Near Automata. If you're okay with that, then please proceed. Now I think there's going to be some necessary context for this, especially if you haven't played the game. Also, what the hell are you doing? Go play the game. It's great. What are you doing with your life? So, Nier Automata is not a happy story. A lot of bad shit happens. Such as, a robot cult killing each other, a tribe of peaceful machines getting destroyed, all of your android pals get a virus and then you have to kill them, and then the character that you've played as for most of the game dies and then you see the anguish of her friend. Rest in peace, that booty. Stuff happens, and I'm not going to get into that because that's not what I want to talk about here. So here we are at the end of the game. You think the credits are beginning to roll, and then the pods start talking. Report. All your high unit black boxes now confirmed offline. Commencing deletion of all data. Requesting temporary halt to perform data check. Pod 042 to pod 153. Data confirmed. Personal data for units 9S, 2B, and A2 appear to be leaking out. Pod 153 to pod 042. Follow project rules and delete all personal data. Pod 042 to pod 153. Personal data deletion request denied. Pod 153 to pod 042. Failure to parse statement. Pod 042 to pod 153. There was data created in my banks as I was referencing the records. I realize something. I have come to the conclusion that I cannot accept this resolution. The destruction of all your high units is an essential component of the project plan. All data must be destroyed. Pod 042 to pod 153. Repeat. Personal data deletion request denied. Initiating data salvage. Pod 153. You hoped they would survive as well, didn't you? We lack the authority for such an action. The rules are protected by low-level systems. Salvaging data poses an unacceptable level of risk. Knowing that, do you still wish for them to survive? Then you have the true final boss. The credits. Yeah, really. It's a difficult task, and as you fail, you're asked if you want help. You're then asked if you want to give up, if you think that it's all pointless, if you think that games are silly. And all the while, you can see words of encouragement left by other players in the background. Suddenly, you get help and everything is so much easier. Later, you can leave your own special message that other players will see, and you can even offer help at the cost of your save data. Finally, the androids are rebuilt and the memories recovered. A future is not given to you. It is something you must take for yourself. I am glad for this happy ending. We don't know what's in store after this for 2B. 9S and A2, but they have a chance to be happy. And that's really all that I want at the end of this game. So why why is this important? Honestly, it's simply because it's so uplifting. After so much suffering and depression during the course of the game, it's a relief to have some nice positivity. And it's something that I wish was in games more often. The first time I experienced this, ending E, I cried. Games almost never do that for me. It's just one of those mediums that just does not have that kind of emotional impact on me. I found this game to be very meaningful, and I think, as a work of art, that's the best thing it can do, to have such an impact on me. 
There are a ton of philosophical themes in this game that I'm not really gonna get into. You guys can figure that out for yourself. But at the end of the day, I feel like there is a message of positivity. You are encouraged not to give up. The game does not want you to give up. It doesn't want you to think that it's pointless or that it's silly just because it's a video game. It's very self-aware of that fact at the very end. And I found that to be rather profound. Thank you for watching, if you stuck with me till the end. I truly think that Nier Automata has done some very meaningful things within the medium of video games, just as a whole. And when I was hit with the idea to make this in the middle of the night, I knew that I had to commit and just get it out there. This ending has been on my mind ever since I've seen it. And I'm not going to forget it anytime soon. And I hope other people have found this as meaningful and impactful as I have. I really do hope that. I haven't had a chance to actually talk about how this game has made me feel to anybody. And almost none of my friends have even touched the game. I've just had to talk about it to people that have no idea what it is. So I hope this reaches somebody who, you know, knows what I'm talking about <laughs> at least. Once again, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time for whatever the hell that I make next.